Yo, Devani in San Antonio, Texas. See more better here with FreePrescriptionLenses.com. And tonight I'm going to cut the Ray-Ban 5121, the ophthalmic version of the original Wayfarer, color 2000, the classic shiny black and the 50 eye size. Do your prescription lenses with anti-glare. And before I begin, I want to give a shout out to Poo, your little brother Poo in Italy. I don't know if he's in the military or just Stone Cold Mafia or a little bit of the both. But anyway, a shout out goes all the way to Italy, where these original Wayfarers are made, handmade in Italy. But let's go ahead and begin. Take out your, your Ray-Bans out of the original packaging, your hard shell Ray-Ban case, Ray-Ban cleaning cloth, and of course a little plastic sleeve on the left temple to protect the temples from rubbing together during shipping. I'm going to put that on there when I ship to you. Now again, this is the ophthalmic version of the classic. Now this frame was invented in 1952. I don't know what year it was, probably somewhere around 2010, 2011, they came up with the ophthalmic version. Sunglass version, ophthalmic version, meaning it's designed to have lenses put in it. Not that I can't put lenses in these, but for a lot of time people just didn't. So with that geek chic look, they came out with the 5121. It's got that classic panoscopic tilt, meaning that the bottom of the lens comes inward from the cheek. Now they redesigned the frames in 1992. This is the new Wayfair, the original Wayfair. Mine are a little bit more perpendicular. This still has that angle in it. And I believe they have the 4340 now, which is this frame when it's just straighter out. But I'm going to take out your original demo lenses, one of which says Ray-Ban. Of course, you're going to get all of that. Put your frame into the tracing element of my blocker. i got to sign a number to it. I have not done that yet. Let me cut that off. Grab my paper clip. Put this on here for now. It's my little notepad. You are Secret Agent 2356. I'm gonna go ahead and put that on there and hit the start button. A little stylus is gonna come up, trace the inside bevel of the right side of the frame before doing the same thing on the left. Here at freeprescriptionlenses.com where everyone loves a bargain and no one is disappointed in quality. You buy any genuine authentic Ray-Ban frame that I sell and you will get one free pair of clear single vision prescription or non-prescription fashion lenses. My receipt has my federal ID tax number, so if you have vision insurance, when you submit my itemized receipt, you will get your out-of-network reimbursement. If you use health savings account flex dollars, you will get 100% of your reimbursement, except my website takes PayPal. PayPal does not set flex dollars, so you got to call me. i got to ring it up over the phone if you want to use health savings account flex dollars. But my website has my phone number on there, so just contact me. We'll make it happen. I'm going to move on to the next screen. That is the shape that I'll be cutting. Let's go ahead and enter your pupillary distance. The computer starts at 32.5. Your PD is 63. Divided by 2 is 31.5. So I'm going to tap the minus button twice. It goes down in half millimeter increments. I do want to go up 2.5 millimeters to 23. We're going to go 2.5 above, cut that at 23. Now I can go ahead and get your lenses prepped, minus 1, minus 50 at 155. You have the same power in both eyes, but a different axis. Let me make sure I'm on zero. Zero. Turn the axis wheel to 155. And I apologize if my voice doesn't sound right. I got the sniffles over the weekend. Man, it looked like a clean toilet seat when I was licking it. You, you know, you just... <laughs> Come on, y'all laugh at that. I guess it just wasn't as clean as I thought. My mom used to tell me, what you can't see won't hurt you. Well, mama was wrong. Mama lied to me. So, minus one. Let's put the power drum on minus one. Put the lens in there. Rotate until the spherical component comes into view first. Check your astigmatism correction. That looks good. And I'll explain all that a little bit later. And, gracious. Put some ink on here. But it also allows me to tell a joke. This is the right lens. So the same thing for the left lens. Minus 1, minus 50. Minus 1, minus 50. At 15. Turn the axis wheel to 15. Put the lens in. Still on minus 1. Rotate it until the spherical component of your prescription. The minus 1 comes into view. 
I don't got no ink left in here. Put a dot on there and on there and on that one. And this is the left lens. If you guys are just coming in halfway through, let me recap. <laughs> so, all right, this is a block, or as I like to call it, Jenny from the block. I need to attach two double-sided adhesive stickers to your lenses. So these will stick to your lenses, I should say. Place that one on the first one, toss it up there, do the same thing now for the second one. Pull the paper away to make the black side sticky, line up the magnet. The reason why I put those three dots on there, it tells me that it's oriented in there just perfectly. The blue cross is the geometric center of your frame. Your eye is just above that and in inset. So we're going to get everything lined up in there just perfectly so. Make sure the lens is large enough to fit, and it is. I just always like to double check that. If the button, the arm comes down, places the block onto the right lens. We're going to do the same thing for the lens that ain't right, which will be played by the left lens. Line up the magnet, same pupillary distance, same optical center height. Get everything lined up in there perfectly. Yeah, that's my markings. And hit that button. The arm's going to come down place the block onto the left lens. Now this is the edger. This is what's going to do all the work while I run my mouth. It costs $40,000. It weighs 200 pounds. I recommend everyone go out and buy their own. Put it on your kitchen counter. Then you can cut your own lenses at home. You will need this guy with the two thumbs and the bad jokes to do it for you. The cutting wheel is this diamond crusted wheel. This channel is going to put the V-shaped bevel onto the lens. So it stays inside the bevel of the frame. Let's go ahead. We're going to wake up the computer. Secret Agent 2356. Secret Agent 2356. These are polycarbonate lenses. They were plastic, high index plastic or Trivex. I would select that. I'm not going to polish the edge of your lens because it's not going to be seen in this frame anyway. I'm not going to put a safety bevel on the front convex surface of the lens, but I am going to put one on the rear concave surface. And one thing I'm going to do in advance, I'm going to go ahead and take this down a tenth of a millimeter. And I'm going to have to do more. I just know from experience this has a deep bevel. I'm probably going to have to take more off, but we're going to start at minus 10. Press that on there firmly. Place the magnet into the chuck. Or as I like to call it, the Charles, because I just don't know this machine well enough to call it Chuck. Hit the green start button. The door closes. The clamp shuts. The lens is going to be traced by the two white styluses, making sure that it's large enough to fit into the frame. You can see it's just tracing the shape of the right lens. And then the old carpenter saying, measure twice, cut once. It's measuring the thickness of the lens at every point to know exactly and precisely where to place the bevel. So you have the least amount of edge thickness showing of which you will have none in this frame with your prescription. The water you see running in the background is there to catch the optical sawdust as it comes off the cutting wheel. Polycarbonate lenses cut dry, meaning that no water sprays on them during the cutting cycle, whereas plastic, high index plastic, and Trivex do cut wet. Now water will spray onto your lens, but only for the last 20 seconds to wash away the optical debris that you see beginning to form. As I mentioned, your lenses are made out of polycarbonate. They are 40% thinner and lighter than regular plastic. They're virtually unbreakable. These are high impact ballistics grade lens material. The same lens material that our soldiers wear overseas in combat zones to protect their eyes from shrapnel and from flying debris. It has 100% UVA and UVB protection built in as well as a premium scratch coating. We know what the sun's harmful ultraviolet rays can do to your skin where your eyes are eight times more sensitive than your skin. So you have permanent sunscreen for your eyes, unlike the lotions, creams, and sprays that need to be reapplied every couple hours when you're in direct exposure to the sun there in San Antonio. Now the other nice thing about your lenses, they are aspheric. Aspheric simply means not spherical. A spherical lens is round in every direction, giving you an ugly cosmetic look. These are flatter to fit in today's flatter curvature frames. Now, when you buy glasses from people online, they charge you for the prescription, which is no bueno. If you want to upgrade to the thinner, lighter weight, unbreakable polycarb, they charge you a fee for that. That is duble no bueno. And then if you want the aspheric lenses that are even flatter, thinner and lighter weight polycarbonate, flatter front curvature, giving you a wider field of view and a better cosmetic look, there's another fee for that. That is triple no bueno. So 
you're getting everyone else's top tier lens for free every time you buy a frame from me. Now this frame sells for $180 tax free. Um, and it comes with one free set of clear single vision lenses or non-prescription fashion lenses. The house anti-glare is $44.99 for a total of $224.99. Now I am tax free. A lot of places on the internet are having to charge tax now. I am in North Carolina. North Carolina considers eyeglasses a medical device. There is no tax on medical devices. So as of now, nobody has to pay tax. That may change in the future, but not until 2021. The state assembly has already voted on it. They're not going to have a long session for two more years. So for the next two years, all purchases are tax free. Come back here. Get out of my way. Dry everything off, get the schwarf off, let's see if this fits first time around. Tuck it in at the outside corner. Oh, it does, I got lucky. Flip that over to L, press the magnet into the Chuck, the Charles, the Chucky baby. Or tonight I'm calling it the Devani. Hit the green start button, the door closes. The poo, poo's asleep. Poo, it is seven o'clock here, so it's probably like one or two in the morning in Italy. So let's go around tracing the shape of the left side of the frame. Measuring where to place the bevel so you have the least amount of edge thickness showing of which look at this Devani. You got nothing. You got nothing there. No edge thickness whatsoever. You see that? You see that kids? So let's go ahead and take the block off. Pull the sticker away. Add that back to my collection. Let's see where my sense of accomplishment sticker will go. Let's see, that flap's coming off. Let's add, let's put this one on right there, cover all three, see if we can hold that together. I know I'm supposed to be working. I'm just reshaping this. I love this thing. So. <laughs> so let's come down here to the lensometer, spin the axis wheel back to 155. Put it in over that black dot. And I am getting minus one in the red. Zero, minus one, minus two. That's because the unit of measurement we use in the optical world is called a diopter, spelled D I O P T E R, starting at zero and going up in quarter increments from there. So 0 0.25, 0 0.50, 0 0.75, one. You're on the fourth rung of a ladder. You are nearsighted with your glasses off. You can see your fingerprint great, but as you move your hand away, it starts to get blurry. So that's why there's a minus sign. Your lens is magn minify, minify, correction, minify, opposite of magnify. Your lens is minify, four steps. Now, once everything is the correct size, you have two steps of astigmatism correction. Uncorrected astigmatism makes sixes and eights look alike or the letters P and F. So think of that as the fine tune knob. You have a minus one this way. You have an additional steep, steeper curvature of minus 50. That's how we line those two curves up to make everything nice and crisp. And we're at minus 150, exactly halfway between one and two. So this first number could be anywhere from zero to 150. This last number could be anywhere from, oh, I'm sorry, zero to 180. These first two numbers, sorry, that cold medicine's kicking in. These first two numbers are real values to be considered. This last number could be anywhere from 0 to 180. Now what's unique, you would think these numbers are very far apart, 155 and 15. The, the right eye is 155, a straight line is 0 to 180, with 90 being in the center. We turn that knob to 155 for the right eye. You are 25 degrees away from the 180 meridian. Your left eye, we turn it to 15. So you're 25 degrees away from this line, you're 15 degrees away from this line. So really there's only 10, get back over the pen, 10 degrees of separation from Kevin Bacon. You didn't know you had that much in common with the old flash dance, did you? All right, so dry everything off. Let's find your frame. I see some water, dry that off. Tuck this in at the outside corner. 
Oh, I don't want to go in. I'm going to go old school. Instead of taking it down on here, I'm going to go around. Take a little bit off on my handstone. This is just like the bevel wheel. Except I'm doing it by hand. Let's go ahead and do that. Then it snaps in there easily. Take the block off. Pull the sticker away. Add to my... Look, I'm getting a getting a gap right here let's see if close that down we're going to tighten you up right here there we go there we go look almost grab these and put it in the lensometer 2140 5121 1952 2010 or 11. so we'll put it down here in the lensometer spin the fine tune knob to 15. read the power i am getting minus one Check your astigmatism correction. Minus 150. Man, the kid is good. Remember high school math where you add two like signs together? Yeah, don't worry. Everyone's forgotten that. Let's use today's term. Someone borrowed a dollar from you, then they borrowed another 50 cents. They would owe you a dollar 50. 150 in the red. So your PD is 63. Turn the card around. Place the PD stick against my thumb on your right lens. When I hold it up to the left lens, we're getting 63 millimeters, so that is cut perfectly. The optical center height of 23, not to the bottom of the lens, but at the deepest point, the middle of the frame, we're getting 23 millimeters there. 23 millimeters there. So this is the portion in every video that as I clean your lenses, I mentioned that when you get these in the mail, there is a small chance that these could fit too loose or too tight. However, there's an 80% chance that one side is going to sit higher than the other. That's because 80% of people have one ear that is higher than the other. And I'm no different from that. But I'm going to get these. In, but because of that statistic, 99% of all optical shops will do free adjustments if you ask them. But I'm going to get these in standard alignment first, also known as the three-point stance. The three points are one, two, and the bottom of the frame being three. I set them down on the counter and press down. There is no wobble. When I say wobble, I'm part of that 80%. When I take off my Ray-Ban new Wayfair sunglasses that I took the dark lenses out to put my prescription lenses in there, when I press down on mine, it sounds like Morse code. They wobble on the counter, but they sit level on me. All right, let me put mine back on so I can see what I'm doing. Flip these over, press down. There is no wobble. Close each temple to make sure they overlap perfectly, and they do, that neither temple is askew or a jar. Check the tension on each hinge to make sure that's the same. If one was loose or tight, I would tighten the loosened one. I would loosen the tight one until they were both matching. Now, Devani in San Antonio, I send out a selfie request in every package. I would love to have your selfie on the website somewhere down from the River Walk, which I hear about in San Antonio. That's incredible. Or better yet, Turn your back to the skyline. Get me a picture of rocking these things with the San Antonio skyline behind you. I also send out cleaning instructions not only on your frame and lenses, but for, but for the premium microfiber cloth that I provide, your Ray-Ban cleaning cloth, and your Ray-Ban case, so it too will last you for years. So, no other seller does that on the internet, I am told. But hey, do me a favor, not only like this video, but subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can follow me on Facebook and Instagram as Free Prescription Lenses, on Twitter as Free RX Lenses. If you have any questions or you need my phone number to call for using your health savings account Flex Dollars, just go to the Contact Me page on the website. It's got both phone number and email on there. There will be a link in the description below that will take you to my website where you can buy this frame. The um, What else was I going to say? I guess that's it. So, Devani. And Pooh in Italy, but especially to Devani who bought the Ray-Ban 5121, the ophthalmic Wayfair in the size 50, color 2000, the classic shiny black. Now, hopefully, with your anti-glare lenses, and now hopefully everyone else has got a chance to see how I bring that love and feeling back to glasses. Thank you.